This stimulus bill just passed in the United States of $787 billion is more aid than all the world has ever given to Africa in all history. So the fact of the matter is that Africa never loomed large in anybody's foreign policy. What was given was a trickle. It was never enough to get the job done. I've shown that repeatedly in studies that what is actually being done is much smaller than what people think what politicians claim uh, and what we need in fact is aid tied to uh, targeted investments that have a high priority. That is still the waterfront of effective policies. Aid, trade, security, governance. Of course, the details of policy are going to be different because the challenge is different. It's not rebuilding Europe. It's re reversing the divergence of the bottom billion so that they actually catch up. Is that easier or harder? We need to be at least as serious as we were then. Aid would be a great thing if it worked, but the sad tra tragedy is that, and this is really one of the, the scandals of our generation, is that mon money meant for the most desperate people in the world is simply not reaching them. And I'm saying that what we've given has been tiny compared to this continent's needs. Uh, the fact that the colonial powers left this place with nothing, without education, without infrastructure, uh, and the fact that this place uh, has uh, needed help and it never got it. The commodity booms are pumping unprecedented amounts of money into many, though not all, of the countries of the bottom billion. Partly they're pumping money in because commodity prices are high, but it's not just that. There's also a range of new discoveries. And so I say to you that aid, and this is borne out by, his, by statistical evidence, that aid worsens corruption, aid blocks democracy, aid is an obstacle to the freeing of Africans from predatory rulers. And I think we have no choice but to, to vote for the motion tonight. We, we cannot be satisfied with this record of aid that has promised so much and accomplished so little. We must condemn the sorry record of aid for the sake of Africa and for ourselves. It's simply unacceptable that a system which is supposed to have the best intentions is simply making things worse rather than better.